Hey guys, it's Jen and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to day one of Vlogmas 2021. I can hardly believe another <laughs> December is here again. Normally I do my Thanksgiving prep shop and cook with me on the first day of Vlogmas, but we've had some things uh, going on in our family over the last couple weeks that have me running behind on some things. So I'm hoping to have that video posted later this week instead. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Today I'm gonna to be sharing a grocery haul with you. So if you wanna go ahead and skip forward to that, I'll leave timestamps in the description box below. But I also wanted to kind of just provide a little bit of a, uh, a life update for those of you who are wondering. Um, I haven't really shared much about it in detail here um, on YouTube just because I wasn't quite sure what the outcome was going to be. But my uh, mom was hospitalized for COVID about two, it's been about two weeks ago now and she ended up being uh, in the ICU for that whole entire time, ended up being on a ventilator for uh, 10 days, and we decided yesterday to take her off the ventilator and just provide comfort care. And so yesterday she passed away, she was 62 years old. Uh, my stepdad also had COVID, they both got it at the same time. He was vaccinated, she was not. Um, he got better very, very quickly and she, um, decompensated very very quickly and so um, it's it's a hard situation for all of us some of you may also know if you've watched my channel for a while that I've had quite a tumultuous shall I say relationship with both of my parents um, over my over my whole life um, I used to always think when I was a kid that our family was the exception to the rule as far as dysfunction but as I get older and learn more about the world and um, talk to you guys and hear about all of your experiences uh, it seems like uh, perfect families are more the exception <laughs> to the rule so life is complicated and messy families are complicated and messy um, it is not good to live with uh, regret. And so, you know, I don't regret drawing boundaries with, with either of my parents. You know, that's something that I had to do for um, not just my kids, but for my own, you know, sort of psyche and mental health. But um, regardless of that, you know, it's a really sad situation. Um, my stepdad is um, the one that I'm really uh, more concerned about than anyone because it's really hard obviously to lose a spouse and he doesn't have any kids of his own it's just me and my sister um, so you know I told him that we will <laughs> take care of him um, he's a really good guy I've always had um, a really good relationship with him and no this is not the same stepdad that I grew up with um, this is this is a different a different one but him and my mom were married for 21 years um, so so quite a long time and yeah it's just it's been um, a, a roller coaster of emotions and you know I, I wish it didn't have to be um, this way of course um, you know I have received you know some comments and that you know like maybe you shouldn't be sad if you have a you know parent who dies that is estranged or you don't have a great great relationship and it's like it's not really how it works I mean it's you know regardless of the situations that you've gone through and the boundaries you've drawn and everything you know they're still your parent and you know I still have compassion and you know nothing in a family happens in um, a vacuum so you know my grandparents are still alive and you know them having to um, attend one of their children's funeral is something that's gonna be really hard for them um, my mom also has three brothers and so we have quite a large family um, and so that's kind of what my next couple weeks I guess or the next week I guess will be dedicated to is kind of navigating through all of this stuff um, you know figuring out when services will be you know writing an obituary like all, all of those things that have to happen that I've never really done before <laughs> obviously um, and just you know trying to support my my stepdad and my grandparents and my family um, through it so yeah I appreciate all of your kind comments I know that some of you have uh, messaged me on Instagram and you know we've chatted back and forth and some of us have you know texted back and forth and I appreciate all all of you who have you know dropped me a message either on Facebook or Instagram or text um, 
like I said, you know, regardless of the family dynamics, it is still uh, a very tough situation, but um, you know, we have a lot of good family support. So we will uh, get through this. In terms of Vlogmas, um, I am still planning on um, doing as many videos as I can in December. Hopefully I can um, get one up every day, but if I miss a day here and there, especially, you know, towards the beginning of this month, you will uh, know why, obviously people ask a litany of questions that really um, <laughs> sometimes de defy logic um, and I guess also what I would say is that when you're going through you know a traumatic event or a heart event or you know something in your life um, you know it, it, don't let anyone tell you how you should deal with it you know if you're the kind of person that wants to lay on the couch and eat ice cream and watch Netflix to deal with your grief that is perfectly fine if you need to um, work to deal with your grief that is fine if you need to cook or read or exercise or what whatever you need to do to deal with it that is the right thing um, for you to do so so yes I appreciate all of your all of your support and um, yeah it's 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 really hard um, you know I, I just it's um, it it's it's really hard to make to make a decision to withdraw life support from someone um, but at the same time it's also not humane and and right to um, keep keep treating someone that is not um, going to recover and so you know yesterday was a, was a was a hard day for for all of us but you know my sister and I were there um, my stepdad was there when she passed away so you know at least she um, had people with her and um, was comfortable so anyway thank you again for all of your support I'm sorry I talked way too long I'm gonna go get groceries because uh, in the middle of all of this I have not gotten groceries for my family I know you guys just saw an Aldi haul a couple days ago but that was actually filmed last week so we're out of milk we're out of this we don't have any breakfast I need to get stuff for the kids lunch you know all that stuff so I'm gonna grocery shop and then I'll show you what I got I thought I would show you guys a few of the fun Christmas things I find in the store this is a Pringles advent calendar 12 days of chips it comes with three of each of these flavors <laughs> I think that's kind of cute there's also some like holiday flavored coffees there's a uh, Green Mountain cinnamon sugar cookie McCafe cinnamon streusel coffee cake uh, donut shop. Oh, that's a latte. Of course, they've got the um, Starbucks peppermint mocha as well. I think I still have some of those K-Cups from last year, so I probably won't buy that. This is a Keebler cookie advent calendar. That's funny. It looks like there's only three kinds of cookies in there, though, but it's still cute. All right, so here's everything that I got at the grocery store today. I did go to Hy-Vee, if I didn't mention that before. I didn't even go in with a list or anything, so I kind of just <laughs> walked through the store and got stuff that I thought that we needed. Um, I did grab some bananas. Uh, these are just normally for snacking. Kira really likes to eat them with peanut butter, and sometimes I'll make you know banana bread with them. I wanted to let you guys know also, because I got a couple questions about this. I got this um, phone case from Casetify. I ordered it. I don't know, several weeks back. It did take a little bit to come in, but I really like it. So I'll link their site down below. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just really like it. So um, I also got some cut up pineapple just for snacking and uh, fruit salads and things like that. I also got some romaine hearts. Um, I may make a salad to go with dinner one night this week. I got three tomatoes just for sandwiches or burgers one yellow bell pepper my kids really like that i have some cherry tomatoes in the fridge so i thought i might make some caprese salad so i did get a bunch of basil um, i thought maybe we could do tacos that would be an easy dinner so i got some shredded lettuce the strawberries are still really expensive but i got some anyway um, i got a two pound box of these for the kids to have and then i wanted to get one of these chopped salad kits so this is the chopped asian salad and this is the fresh express brand so i'll probably have this for lunch one day this week i have some cooked shrimp and some cooked chicken in the refrigerator so i can easily toss this with that and that'll be an easy lunch i did also get some broccoli um, everyone really likes when i steam broccoli so i thought that would be an easy veggie side for dinner um, i got some corn tortillas so there's a freezer meal video that i've been working on I swear to God, it feels like I'm working on it for, 
forever and I just keep getting sidetracked, but um, I'm hoping to publish that later this week and I needed some corn tortillas for that. So grab that. Um, I got a Lunchable for Connor to take to school tomorrow. This is the chicken nugget one. And then I got a couple things for the kids. Um, stockings, these, I don't know, they had these gummy soft strawberry candies. So I picked those up and then a couple of Hershey bars. I got some cheddar cheese snacks for Kira, some of these Colby Jack cheese sticks for Connor. And then I got some more of this queso chihuahua. Um, I have really been liking this for like quesadillas and enchiladas. So I figured I would pick up some more of that. All right, we we're all out of milk. I needed some for recipes, so I got some whole milk, which is what I normally use for that. But then um, just for cereals and other things, we normally use 2% milk. So I got two half gallons of that. Um, I got two packages of the Crescent dough sheet um, roll. I So I've seen this casserole on YouTube on a, a bunch of different videos where basically you cook a pound of breakfast sausage, you mix it with some cream cheese, and then you kind of sandwich it in between two um, layers of crescent roll, and then you bake it, and it's sort of like a sausage uh, crescent roll breakfast bake. I thought I might try that. My sister said she does it another way where she makes it like a breakfast pizza. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna try that, but I thought that I would give that a try for breakfast someday this week. The Panera Caesar salad dressing is really good and I thought I might use this with the romaine to make a salad on the side for dinner. I got this for Adam's stocking. It's the Blue Diamond Almonds in the Bold uh, Spicy Dill Pickle. So that, um, I think he'll like that. I always try to put a mix of like savory and sweet things in his stocking because he's not a huge candy fan. Um, I got some Golden Grahams for whoever wants that for breakfast. I got some uh, regular black olives. I actually bought some black olives from Aldi a couple of weeks ago and they were not that great. So I'm gonna go back to getting either like the Hy-Vee brand or the name brand. I got some SpaghettiOs for Kira, some sharp cheddar cheese. Um, for Thanksgiving, we had this bacon jam from Terrapin Ridge Farms and it's really good with sharp cheddar cheese. I have some of it left in the fridge so I wanted to get some more to go with that. I got some mozzarella pearls for the caprese salad and then also some um, hot pepper raspberry preserves from Terrapin Ridge Farms. This is really good if you put it over goat cheese or cream cheese. I got some sausage for that breakfast sausage bake, just one pound of that. I got a pound of the Deluso smoked turkey breast. This is my favorite lunch meat that I get from um, Hy-Vee, it's really good. And they also have like a punch card deal. So when you get, you know, buy 10 pounds of it, you get a pound free, stuff like that. So grab that for sandwiches. I got a large package of egg noodles. I thought maybe we could do like a turkey noodle uh, casserole with the leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. Um, I also have a recipe that I'm gonna be using um, half of that for. So this was actually a large one, so it's two packages. I got some orange juice, uh, mini, the Simply Orange, um, for Connor or whoever to have for breakfast. Some Diet Cherry Pepsi, we are all out of that. And then they had the mini cans on sale. So I grabbed some of these. Um, I got the Zero Sugar Sierra Mist, two of those, one Diet Pepsi and one Diet Mountain Dew. I also got some of the Cherry Grain Nutri Bars. Um, Connor really likes those. And then I got some kind of snacky type things for the kids. Um, these protein snack combos from Hy-Vee are really good. They come with turkey sticks and Colby Jack cheese. And then also a couple of these Cracker Barrel bites. These have cheese and crackers in them. And then a couple of the Natural Choice chicken and cheddar. He really likes those. I saw that they had these um, salad dressing containers, which I thought were really cool because they're like a squeeze bottle. I've seen these in a couple of people's videos and I always thought that I wanted to try one and just never thought about ordering it online. So since I saw it in the store, um, I decided to pick it up. I do pack Adam salads for work every once in a while for lunch. Um, I got some active dry yeast. We're running low on that with all of the baking that I've been doing, so I needed to restock. And then if you've never had the salsa, I think it's like a local thing, but it's the Kramer's homemade salsa. It's really, really good. We are all out of salsa, which is like weird because I feel like we always have that. So I always like to keep salsa on hand for, you know, tacos or um, chips and salsa, things like that. So I got a jar of that. Um, I got some of these for the advent calendar, the homemade advent calendar that I did this year. I needed 
a couple more days to fill and if you guys have never tried these suckers i remember getting these when i was a kid the chupa chups is that how you say um they're like ice cream flavored they're really, really good so i got those they actually had like leggings on sale at hy which is kind of weird but they were only $4.99 um, and it was basically like a one size fits all so i got a pair for kira she always can use some uh, black leggings and then i got a couple of koosh balls for the kids stockings i'm trying to kind of stock up on stuff as i go throughout the month of december so i don't forget <laughs> to get stocking stuffers and then i got some of these for adam these are the gardettos or gardettos however you say it uh, garlic rye chips. These are like his favorite part of the mix. And so um, I knew that they made these. I've just never really paid attention and they had these on an end cap. So I decided to get some. I got some Hawaiian rolls. Um, the kids really like making sandwiches with these. And this is always a quick supper or even, you know, sandwich to throw in their lunchbox um, with everything we've got going on right now. It's always good to have stuff like this on hand to have a quick like <laughs> soup and sandwich night. Um, I got some chocolate syrup. I actually used up all of my chocolate syrup when I made brownies for Thanksgiving, so I needed to replenish that. And then I've got some canned crab in the pantry that I need to get used up, and so I thought about making crab cakes, and I saw this remoulade seafood sauce, and so I thought this might go well with the crab cakes, so I picked that up. I got a bag of Tostitos scoops to go with the salsa, and then four bottles of the Polar Sparkling Frost um, Adam really likes this. Um, for a meal prep recipe, I got some um, farmhouse Pepperidge Farm hearty white bread. And then I also got a couple of boxes of Hot Pockets. Um, the kids will normally eat this, like they'll eat one of these for an after school snack um, before swim. So normally when they come home from school, it's like between three and 4 p.m. And then they have swim practice like starting at 5.30 or 6. So a lot of times they kind of just need something to hold them over until swim and then we'll eat dinner after they get home. So I got one of the pepperoni pizza and one of the pepperoni and sausage pizza. I got some breakfast items for Adam. One of the Jimmy Dean Delights Southwest style breakfast wraps and then one of the Egg Witch. Um, this is the one where it has like sausage and cheese inside but then there's egg on the outside. He really likes those. I got some Cheez-Its just to have in the pantry and then some multi-grain waffles. Um, these are just like the Nutri-Grain waffles, but they're the high V brand and sometimes um, the kids will eat those for breakfast. And then last but not least, I did get a poinsettia. This is a 10 inch one and it was only $20. It's huge. I've always wanted to get one of these to put by my fireplace, but this is the first year I've actually <laughs> done it. So um, I'm super excited to set that in there and hopefully I can keep it alive throughout <laughs> the winter season. So one of the things that we had to do today was to meet with the uh, funeral home and um, we, my sister came over this afternoon and we were kind of going through a bunch of old pictures. So obviously we're going to have like a DVD, you know, kind of like slideshow um, at my mom's funeral. So we were kind of just going through some of the old pictures. I am the designated keeper of the pictures <laughs> in my family. Um, I believe this is actually my mom's senior picture. Does she look like me? Everyone always says I look like her, but, um, so we were getting all these together and I don't know, it's just kind of fun reminiscing, you know? It's like Adam asked me the other day, he's like, I know you have always had, you know, the best relationship with your parents, but do you still have happy memories? And I'm like, of course I do. I mean, you know, it's, it's, people aren't all bad or all good, you know? I mean, just because you have to, you know, set boundaries with someone doesn't mean you still don't have happy memories. Of course you do. So anyway, we're just going through these pictures and I need to scan these and get them sent to the funeral home so they can start making that but i think this was yeah that was me when i was born like this is my sister and then that was me when i was a kid everyone says kira looks like me but i think in some of the younger pictures i look like connor that was actually my mom's first wedding when she got married to my dad and there's lots of just Oh, there's tons of old pictures in here. So anyway, I just thought I would share that with you guys because I love, I don't know, I love going through old pictures and, you know, even though, I mean, even though my parents have been divorced ever since I was eight years old, it's like I still have their wedding album, you know, because why not? It's still a part of your life, right? Look at all these. That's my grandpa. 
Look at those blue suits. That's my dad. That's my grandma. That's my grandpa on my dad's side. He's passed away now. Look at that wedding cake. <laughs> yellow. I can't remember. I think their wedding colors were yellow and blue, maybe, if I remember correctly. But anyway, it's always fun looking through old pictures. So anyway, this is where I'm going to leave you guys for today. I will be back tomorrow with another uh, video for Vlogmas Day 2. And until then, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you then. Bye.